Hello everyone, welcome back to Mining of Massive Datasets. We're going to continue our discussion of the AdWords problem uh, with a look at the balance algorithm. The balance algorithm is a way to deal with the problem of limited advertiser budgets in the context of the AdWords problem. To refresh your memory on what the AdWords problem is, we are given a set of bids by advertisers for search queries and a click-through rate for each advertiser query pair and in addition, a budget for each advertiser. The budget could be for a day or a month or a year or some period like this. Let's just assume that it's a daily budget. Uh, finally, there's a limit on the number of ads to be displayed with each search query. This limit could be one or two or three. Now, we need to respond to each search query with a set of advertisers such that the size of the advertiser set is no larger than the limits of the number of ads per query. Each advertiser who we show has actually bid on the search query. And finally, if the ad is shown and somebody clicks on the ad, then the advertiser should have enough budget left over to pay for the ad at, uh, when it's actually clicked upon. So we don't actually want to show ads from advertisers who don't have a budget to pay for the clicks if they do actually happen, because that's not uh, a winning proposition for us. So the question is, how do we deal with the, this issue of limited advertiser budget that we don't want to show or cannot show an ad from an advertiser whose budget has been exhausted? Now let's uh, first study the problem uh, in, uh, in a simplified version. The simplified version that we're going to look at has only one ad shown for each query, and all advertisers have the same budget B. We're also going to assume that all ads are equally likely to be clicked and all have the same value of one. Uh, another way of thinking about this is that expected revenue from each ad, which is a product of the click-through rate and the bid, is equal to one. Now the simplest algorithm is the greedy algorithm, which we've already uh, looked at. Um, and the greedy algorithm picks any advertiser who has bid one for a query when that query shows up. And uh, it's easy to show that the uh, competitive ratio of the greedy algorithm is actually a half. Uh, but here's a bad scenario for uh, the greedy algorithm. Here, are, here there are two advertisers, A and B. Uh, and let's say A bids on query X, B bids on queries X and Y, and both have budgets of $4. Now the query stream that comes in is X, 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 Y, 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 Y. That's four X's followed by four Y's. Now when these query, uh, queries come in, uh, the greedy algorithm, when it sees the first X, uh, notices that we have both uh, A and B uh, who are bid uh, for query X. And let's say the greedy algorithm arbitrarily uh, assigns um, uh, query one to, uh, to advertiser uh, B. And then the second um, uh, uh, X comes in, and let's say the greedy algorithm assigns that to B as well, and so on. Uh, the greedy algorithm might, for instance, uh, end up assigning all the first four uh, X queries to advertiser B, none to advertiser A. As a result, when the first Y query comes in, B's budget of $4 is already exhausted, uh, and therefore no ads can be shown for the Y queries. As a result, uh, the greedy algorithm's revenue is, uh, is, four, is only $4. Whereas the optimal allocation in this case, as it's easy to see, is to show A's ad for the first four queries and then B's ad for the uh, next four queries. And that's the optimal choice and the optimal algorithm has a revenue of $8, which is twice the greedy algorithm. And this is the worst case example uh, that shows that the greedy algorithm can do uh, half as well as the optimal algorithm. Now, uh, it's, it's actually quite easy and straightforward to prove that the greedy algorithm cannot do worse uh, than, uh, than this, and the competitive ratio of the greedy algorithm is exactly a half. And the proof of it is quite similar uh, to the, uh, the proof in the case of the online bipartite graph matching problem, which we covered in an earlier uh, lecture, and I leave that to you as an exercise. The question is, is there an algorithm that has a competitive ratio of better than a half for this problem? And it turns out that there is, and it's a very simple algorithm called the balance algorithm. And the balance algorithm uses a very simple heuristic. For each query, it assigns that query to the advertiser with the largest unspent budget, or the largest balance, hence the name, the balance algorithm. If there's a tie, for example, if there's a query and there are two advertisers, each of whom have an equal balance, then the balance algorithm breaks ties arbitrarily, but in a deterministic manner. Let's look at how the balance algorithm deals with the example that we just saw. So here, uh, here again is our example. There are two advertisers, A and B. A bids on query X and B bids on queries X and Y, and both have budgets of $4. Uh, now, when the first uh, query X comes in, 
uh, the balance algorithm, you know, both, uh, both A and B are eligible to be shown for this query, and both have an equal balance of four, and the balance algorithm has to break this try arbitrarily. Uh, let us say the, uh, the, the balance algorithm uh, assigns uh, this, uh, the, the first query to A. Now, the second uh, X comes in, and now notice uh, that, uh, let, let's write down A's and B's uh, balances uh, right there. Uh, notice now that A's balance is, uh, is three, and B's balance is four, because a dollar of A's budget is already spent uh, when, when we showed the, uh, the first ad. Um, and so the uh, algorithm assigns the second X to the advertiser with eligible uh, advertiser with the largest balance, which is B in this case, uh, and so uh, that goes to B, and B's balance now becomes three. Now when the third X comes in, uh, both advertisers are eligible, and once again, both balances are equal. Uh, the balance algorithm has to break the tie arbitrarily, and let's say B, it gives it to A. Uh, when the fourth uh, X comes in, uh, once again, uh, it goes to B since the, it has a larger balance. Now, when the first Y comes in, the only eligible advertiser is B. Uh, a has not bid for a query Y, and so the query has to go to B, and B's balance goes down to one. Um, and when the next Y comes in, uh, it once again has to B, and B's balance goes down to zero. Uh, and when the last two Ys come in, there is no eligible advertiser, so we end up not assigning uh, those queries to any advertiser, or in fact, not showing any query uh, for um, uh, for those searches. So as a result, the uh, the balance algorithm uh, has a revenue of six dollars because we show six ads, uh, in, uh, you know, uh, in, in the balance algorithm. The optimal algorithm, as we recall, uh, has a revenue of eight dollars. And so the the competitive ratio in this case is six by eight, which is three fourths, which is better than a half, right? Um, so, and so that's that's exactly what uh, what happens here. Uh, the uh, that's a balance choice and the optimal choice, and the competitive ratio is three fourths. And in fact, uh, it can be shown that for balance with two advertisers, the competitive ratio is in fact exactly three fourths. Uh, we can do no worse uh, than a competitive ratio of uh, three fourths in this case. And uh, the proof is quite uh, quite simple, but quite interesting. So I'll walk you through it. So let's analyze the two advertiser balance uh, scenario. Let's consider a very simple scenario where there are two advertisers, A1 and A2, both with budget B, uh, and let's assume that the optimal solution exhausts both advertisers' budget. In other, in other words, the optimal solution has revenue 2B because uh, it, uh, it allocates a B uh, amount of budget from A1 and a B amount of budget from A2. Now, it must be the case that the balance algorithm exhausts at least one advertiser's budget. Because suppose the balance ad algorithm did not exhaust at least one advertiser's budget, then when a query comes in, both advertisers are eligible, and at least one of those advertisers can be, sh uh, can be uh, shown for that uh, query. And therefore, it could do a bit better. So it must be the case that the balance algorithm must exhaust the uh, budget of at least one advertiser. Now, uh, assume without loss of generality that balance actually exhausts A2's budget, but doesn't exhaust A1's budget. Let's look at the simple visual uh, to help us understand what's going on here. Um, and let's say, um, let's, uh, let's assume that these, uh, that the, uh, that these two uh, rectangles uh, represent uh, uh, sets of queries. In this case, uh, the blue queries are the queries that were allocated to uh, advertiser A1 in the optimal solution, and the green rectangle represents a set of queries that were um, assigned to advertiser A2 in the optimal solution. Remember that, this, uh, that there are B queries of each kind, since we exhausted both A1's budget and A2's budget, and so there were a total of two B queries that were allocated by the optimal solution. Okay, uh, and this is the optimal uh, solution. Now let, let's look at the, uh, what happens when we run the, uh, the balance algorithm. When you run the balance algorithm, the balance algorithm uh, won't, won't uh, assign queries in exactly the same way as the optimal uh, solution. Let's say that some of the blue queries that were assigned to A1 in the optimal solution uh, remain assigned to A1 in the balance solution, but some of the blue queries are instead assigned to A2 in the balance solution. And some of the, uh, the green queries that were assigned to A2 uh, remain assigned to A2, uh, but 
the uh, some of the green queries that uh, were uh, were originally assigned A2 could not be assigned uh, and are in fact left unassigned by the balance algorithm. Okay, uh, and in fact the uh, the revenue of the balance algorithm uh, is equal to uh, B, which is the set of queries that are assigned to A2, remember since we exhausted A2's budget, uh, plus Y, uh, the set of queries that, that were assigned to uh, A1. Right? So the optimal revenue in this case is 2B, since, we, uh, since the optimal algorithm as, uh, assigns B queries to uh, A1 and B queries to A2, so its revenue is 2B. Uh, the balance revenue is B plus Y, since, it, uh, since the balance algorithm assigns B queries to A2, um, and y queries to a1 and leaves x queries unassigned. Okay. Now what we're going to show is that we're going to show that y is greater than or equal to b by 2. Why are we going to show that? Well, when, once we show that y is greater than or equal to b by 2, then we know that the balance revenue is at least b plus b by 2, which is 3 fourths of the optimal revenue. Okay. Um, let's, uh, let's consider two cases. Uh, case 1 is when the uh, balance algorithm assigns at least uh, half or b by 2 queries uh, of the blue queries to A1. Okay? Uh, so when the, if, if the balance algorithm ha assigns at least b by 2 of uh, blue queries to A1, uh, then we know that the, the size of the blue bar uh, is at least uh, b by 2. Uh, and so y is greater than or equal to b by 2, and we've shown y is greater than or equal to b by 2, which is what we wanted to show in the first place. Now the second case to consider is that the balance algorithm assigns less than uh, b by 2 blue queries to, um, uh, to A1 uh, and therefore since there are a total of b uh, blue queries that are assigned, uh, it must assign more than b by 2 blue queries to A2. Now when more than b by 2 blue queries are assigned to A2, uh, just look at, let's consider the last blue query, the query right here, the last blue query. Uh, that was assigned to, to A2. Okay? Uh, when you look at the last blue query there that was assigned to A2, uh, the balance algorithm number, both A1 and A2 are eligible and have bid on the blue queries. Um, and, but the balance algorithm, and both at this point have unspent budget. But the balance algorithm decided to assign this blue query to A2. Remember the heuristic of the uh, balance algorithm. The balance algorithm assigns the query to the advertiser with the larger unspent balance. So at this point, when the blue query was assigned to A2, it must be the case that A2, A2's balance was larger than A1's balance. Okay. Uh, this is just another way of saying that at this point, the number of queries assigned to A1 must have been greater than the number of queries that were assigned to A2, since both started out with the same budget uh, in the beginning. Now, we know that uh, at least B, uh, uh, B, this is the you know, at least B uh, blue queries have already been assigned to uh, B by two blue queries have already been assigned to A two at this point, right? Um, and since we've said that the number of queries assigned to A one at this point has to be greater than the number of queries that is assigned to A two at this point, it must be the case that the number of queries assigned to A1 at this point, which is y, is also greater than or equal to b by 2. And so we've shown that y is greater than or equal to b by 2 in the second case as well. Now, since we've shown that y is greater than or equal to b by 2, and we've also, we also know that the balance revenue is b plus y, since y is greater than or equal to b by 2, we know that the balance revenue is, is, at least, is greater than or equal to 3b by 2, and therefore the ratio of the balance revenue to the optimal revenue is at least three-fourths. Now we've analyzed the simple case of balance with exactly two advertisers and shown that the competitive ratio is two. But what happens if there are more than two advertisers? What happens if there are a large number of advertisers? In the case where there are a large number of advertisers, uh, it's, uh, it can be shown that the competitive ratio of balance is given by this expression, one minus one over e where E is the uh, base of the natural logarithms, 2.718, so on, um, and that is approximately uh, 0.63. Notice that this competitive ratio 0.63 is strictly better than a half, which is the competitive ratio of the greedy algorithm. So the balanced algorithm does much better than the greedy algorithm in terms of competitive ratio. 
Now, interestingly, although I won't be able to uh, show this in this lecture, uh, no online algorithm can actually do better than this uh, competitive ratio of 1 minus 1 by E for the adverts problem. But what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to show you the worst case example that gives us this competitive ratio of 1 minus 1 by E.